So now that we have several variables and we have this beautiful equation, it's time to formally introduce the FOL, the flash operation line. Okay, so we have this equation, which comes from here. And I want you to verify by yourself this loop oops, and the y-intercept. So remember that slope is anything that multiplies the x function here. So this will be our slope. And b is anything that when x equals 0, let's say if this was 0, then y must be b. So this is our intercept. Okay, so let's make more graphical sense. That was equation sense. Now let's make our equation sense. So the y-intercept when x equals 0. So let's go to x equals 0. If we were to go to all this line, you will see that this is the point we're talking about. The y-intercept in which xf, which is known, divided by f, which is also known, can be calculated. Then we also have a very unique and uh, important point that will be the equilibrium point in which the line crosses. So you have this point and you know that there is a point in which this point crosses. Well, actually, let's go before to the 45 degree line. If we were to go to the 45 degree line in which y equals x, when is this the case? So try to solve for yourself this equation and verify when you're going to see this case. And yeah, click pause, try to solve it for yourself because I'm going to say it in one second. So one second has passed. Yes, you will see that y equals x whenever xf is true. Okay, so you can see here xf, xf. And now guys, if we were to make a line graphically, the point in which we intersect the equilibrium line will be our point of interest. We know that in equilibrium, we have the flash goes in, separates here. Y D and X B are nothing more than the points of intersection with this line. So hopefully you get the idea of the power of this line or operation line. And you can either calculate the slope. You can either get the Y intercept. You can either verify the 45 degree line, or if you have the equilibrium, do it for yourself. So there is plenty of information for you guys to be solving the FOL, the flash operation line. Okay, so let's make a little bit of questions. The operation line crosses the point XF, XF. For all values of F, the important question is why, guys? I already told you a little bit, so try to guess it for yourself. This provides one point on the straight line. As stated before, guys, this point is always valuable. If you have XF, you will be able to identify this point always. The other point can be obtained either from the slope, from the intercept, or from the equilibrium, which is not that normal. The easiest one will be always the intercept, which is this one right here. Two points makes a line. And with that line, you can verify the equilibrium conditions. Okay, that's what I was telling you. And the intersection will be both operation line and equilibrium line. And given this, the main objective is to verify the composition of the flash in the outlet. So the vapor and liquid conditions, you want to know what's the actual value of each species. What are these? So try to guess for yourself what are these two values. These are some of the steps that I would recommend you not to memorize, but to understand when you're working with a flash. So first things first, what you want to verify is XF. What is the composition of the species or the MVC, the most volatile component, typically known as A, in the inlet of the feed of the flash? So you have this value, you can verify easily for yourself. The second point, which will be this one right here. So you have this point crosses with this line. Therefore, you got this line and you have two very important points. Well, actually, you have one point in the graph and two points in the axis. Now, what you want to do also is to identify this point. Let it be red dot. Red dot will be in which X equals Y or the so-called 45 degree line. 
Now we also could calculate the slope, but I think it's much easier to verify the y-intercept because we already know xf and f can be calculated. f is the vapor total amount of the mix. So let's say that we calculated that, we have this triangle point. And by definition, guys, you know that if you have two points or one point and a slope, you can get a straight line. So let's draw the line. And always, always, guys, if the operation is correct, you will have this point crossing the equilibrium line to the 45 degree line. So this point will be always present. So whatever point you choose, you will have a crossing point in equilibrium. Of course, I don't want to get ahead to you guys, but sometimes we are going to have some isotropes and it will be kind of hard and sometimes impossible to do some flash separations. Anyways. Let's assume that, let me clean this up, Oops. and continue. So now that we have the straight line from this blue triangle to this red point, we have identified this purple point. And the purple point, guess what, has a coordinates in X and Y. And these are the points of interest. This is what we want to know in a flashing uh, operation. 